Yeah, my name is Hashim. Hi, that's me. I'm Damien. Damien, and you are? Uh, Mark. Mark, nice, nice meeting me. you guys. Nice so yeah, we are, I was just listening yeah, was to quite, quite tense, the earlier it? discussion. It's a bit, yeah. bit tense. I mean, to be honest, look, as, as a Muslim, we actually have a lot in common with the Christians. Right. Uh, one of the things which you obviously know or should know is that the Muslims, we do not worship Jesus, but we consider him to be one of the mightiest messengers of God, and he is the Messiah. Yeah. Okay, so that... I mean, I, I don't... I mean, I, I'm not a scholar in, in Islam, but I do know the, the basic... Yeah, yeah. The basic, uh, yeah. So this uh, basic, I mean, this is something which is well known. Uh, so in, in that sense, we are not like the Jews. We completely reject Jesus, his ministry, his messiahship, and everything basically. Um, um, yeah. So essentially, I mean, I guess I should lay some, some groundwork as to yeah, why sure. we're here. I mean, I, I don't want to, I'm not really interested in having a, a massive like debate in the way that we just yeah, yeah, we yeah. out there. Like, I, I kind of, I want this to be a friendly discussion. Yeah, of course, yes. Um, I do have some questions that I would love to ask that they might come off as a bit provocative. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, if, yeah. I mean, hopefully you're okay with that. Yeah. Um, as long as I can yeah. ask you as well. Yeah, yeah. And and we we all like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in turn, you're, like, so I'll tell you what. Yeah, why yeah. don't you ask your question, yeah, and yeah. then I'll ask. We've, we've actually got about yeah. seven, but maybe, um, maybe I'll, I'll try and I'll try and narrow it down. I guess. Um, so, so my first question to you. Okay. So, um, uh, so just say I came to you now, yeah, and I said, uh, what was your name? Sorry. Hashim. Hashim. I said, yeah. Hashim. Um, I'm a prophet of God. Yeah. God has given me a new revelation mm -hmm. from the angel Gabriel, and he's told me that your Quran is actually corrupt. Uh, and and I've, I've I've written down a new Quran or a new a new holy book, um, and Muhammad he actually prophesied about me. Okay, so some of the things that you believe about Muhammad are wrong, some of them are right, but he actually did some other things. Yeah? Okay, would you would you believe me? Would you follow me? Well, it depends what you're saying. So when you first and foremost, yeah. when you say you're claiming to be a prophet after Muhammad, yeah, that itself that yeah. itself disqualifies you from being a prophet. Okay, because the Quran right. the Quran states yeah. that Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. He is the Khatimul Nabi, he's Khatimul Anbiya. That means he's he's the seal of the prophets. So okay, so if Khatimul I have, so if I'd read my own book, yeah, and it said in there that I was the next prophet, and I'd say that, that book's an authority in the same way the Quran is, that, that book confirms my my prophet. Yeah. So would, would you then believe me? We don't believe do, do you actually think Muhammad wrote the uh, the Quran? No, well uh, that's another question. That's because another that is the thing, you know, when you that. say yeah, yeah, yeah. when you say I've got a revelation. So yeah. just you claiming that doesn't make it right, does it? So we need to examine what exactly First and foremost, who you are, your character, what book you have written, and why do you think it's from God? Because these questions were asked to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You see? So I, there, were, there were many cases in which they would question him that how can someone who is not learned, yeah, like the Prophet, peace be upon him, he didn't know how to read and write. Now, when, when you had the elite in the society who were the best poets and the best authors in terms of... Uh, both literature and grammar. They thought it was a miracle. A miracle. Yeah. So yeah, when yeah. they, when, um, when they, can I clarify my question? If I fit all of your categories, so yeah, I but you I was see, illiterate. I, 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 um, what, what else? I had, uh, I had some poetry that people were sort of was, were quite acclaimed. Would you yeah. then, would you then follow me? No, I wouldn't, because like I said, it's not as simple as that. Well, well I think, well, I mean, the, no offense, but to me, that's essentially what Muhammad's done. No, it's in, not, in not really, yeah. because you don't know the Quran. Have you read the Quran? I've read bits. I've, I've, okay, so, so you haven't actually researched it. You see what I mean? Now, well, when you, when anyone can, claims, can I I, I, you yeah, yeah, wait, 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 we are rushing too much. Let's, yeah, let's slow yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. So one of the criteria in the Quran sure. is that if this book is from anyone other than Allah, it will have contradictions, discrepancies, and so on. Yeah. So far, even the best who know the poetry and the prose in Arabic were unable to find any contradictions in the Quran. Now, when you claim you come with a book, okay, this, by, by the way, look, we can have all sorts of hypothetical questions right now. Yeah. And this is the same thing with Jesus. When he came, they asked him several questions to prove his messiahship. Yes, did he pass them? Yes, he did. But then there were things which the Christians now believe, for example, his uh, divinity. If Jesus is God, then he wouldn't be on the cross crying out, my God, my God, why did you abandon me? You well, see, this, I mean, this is something which is far away, even from someone who is a righteous believer, let alone a messiah, prophet, and messenger of God, or God himself in your case. So, um, just <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah, look, look, question. hypothetical questions, yeah. you can ask several of them, yeah. but none of them actually fit the criteria of the Quran. The reason I'm saying is that yeah. because you actually haven't researched the Quran about, I, about yeah, its yeah, yeah. inimitability, the fact that it's, it's written in such a way that actually the Arabic grammar and the prose, it, it, it's something which is of a different level, okay, a different genre if you want sure. to say that. Yeah. Now, who can produce such a book? 
when, when you have, for example, look, if I asked you um, that, can you produce some, a work equal to Shakespeare, but you don't know the ABC of English language, you don't know how to read and write English language, and then somebody of such a criteria comes along and produces something better than Shakespeare, would you say that's a miracle? Can I, can I respond now? Yeah, of course right. you can. Yeah. I guess like the question, so to clarify that question, if I fit into all these categories and I came with my own book and fit all of these and I, I was illiterate, I came out with something that was on the level of Shakespeare, yeah. I did all of these things, would you then believe that I was a prophet and follow me? No, but that, you see, this is, this is called fitting the circle in a, uh, in a square. So what you're doing is you're, you're asking all these hypothetical questions. Sure. Okay, so if I asked you, uh, if God came down and if, if Jesus came down and told you that he's not God, would you then believe him? I mean, no. I, I, do, you want, do you want me to... to you wouldn't believe to, Jesus. Well, do you want me to tell you my answer? Well, I thought that was your answer. No. Well, I mean, I can... That you is can elaborate answer. on that no, if that you want. Answer, but I'm going to elaborate if you like. Yeah, go on, elaborate yeah, yeah. on that. Um, the reason is because the Bible actually tells us that Satan comes down in the form of an angel. Satan can imitate people. Satan's like a roaring lion. Yeah. Um, so for me, this is my authority, the Bible. Right. Okay, so I will look to the Bible. And I will say, is this what Jesus preaches in the Bible? Okay, if I had a vision from Christ and he came down and he said to me um, that I am not God, yeah. I would look at the Bible and say, that contradicts what I believe. And Paul says in Galatians, he said, if anybody comes down, even in the form of an angel, and preaches anything contrary to what I believe, let that man be accursed. Yeah. So is it contrary to you what see, the gospel says? When I gave a, when I gave a similar course. response, yeah. where the Quran says the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, yeah. is the last messenger, you then started to say, what if, what if, what if? Okay, sure. You see what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, so if I'm it. using yeah, your standards, yeah. sure. which is in your case, your scripture, then you should abide or you should at least, you know, have the same standards course, in agreement yeah. with me. Sure. So if you're going based on the Bible itself, yes? Yep. I'm gonna, then I would tell you, me. I would tell you categorically, Jesus never claimed to be Almighty God. Uh, I would say that's wrong. Show if, me where. If you want to talk, or do, sorry. Sorry, can I clarify? Do you mean in those words when he said... No, no, I not in those Jesus. words. Yeah. In any sense, Jesus never claimed to be Almighty God. Uh, in any words. Well, actually, he said before, before, was it before the word was made that I, I was? I am. So I he am. was there before the word was made? No, no, he never said before. He said before Abraham was, I am. Before Abraham was, But before Abraham was, Adam. It's actually a reference to, to so, the word Yahweh. Which is no, not really. No, no, no. Is. See, this is where you actually are mistaken yeah. about the term Yahweh. The term Yahweh is a tetragrammaton. It's not found even once in the New Testament. Not once. It's found 6,000 or nearly 7,000 times in the Old Testament, but not once in the New Testament. Sure. So you cannot use the term I am, yes, and which actually you're alluding to Exodus, Exodus, yeah, where he says, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, am, yeah, he yeah, says, yeah. Ahye, Asher, Ahye, not Yahweh. Sure. Do you see the difference now? So when Jesus says, I am, yes, when Paul says, I am, when a beggar in the Bible says, I am, do you think they all are claiming to be God? No. So Jesus, when he, you see, one thing is clear okay, by, by discussing with the Christians, I've realized that when Jesus says something explicit and he identifies who the only true God is, then the Christians reject that explicit statement. Okay, sure. They will go with implicit ones like, the, like yeah. the I am in John. By the way, all the I am's are only found in one gospel, okay, the gospel of John, not the other gospels. Why? Can I, can I respond? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. So, I, you know what? He, I, I personally think there's implications in, in the Bible that Jesus says that Jesus makes himself out to be God. But if you want, if you want to argue that that is not the case, okay, yeah. there's, there's, a bit of, there's a bit of wiggle room there. But the Bible itself explicitly states that Jesus is God and the Bible is my authority. Okay, okay so which so, is the explicit term in the Bible which you reckon claims that Jesus is God? I mean, the Gospel of John starts with, and the, the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. Uh, the word was God, and, and the then word the word was made, made flesh and, and dwelt among us. Okay. Referencing Jesus. So let me let me get that uh, get that straight. So sorry, what's your name again? Damien. Damien and Mark, uh, yeah? Mark. yeah. Okay. So if I said Damien is with Mark, yeah. does that mean you're Mark? Well, that's a different question. Whether no, no, Jesus it's, it's, is God. It, is Jesus no, no, God? it's not a different question. It's based on what you just said. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. Yeah. So if I'm saying Damien is with Mark, with God as well. yeah. just, just one. Sorry, sorry. If, if I said yeah, Damien okay, was, yeah, let me answer your question. Yeah. If, if Mark was, if, if Mark was female and I was married to him, we'd be considered the one person. Yeah. No, you wouldn't be one person. We, we would be. No, one no, you would be yes, one couple, not one no, person. With the one flesh. So when we get married, when people Hold get on. married, unless, yeah, unless I'm, I'm mistaken about the English term person, yes. So you'll be one couple. 
you will never be one person. Sorry, that's, that's, not, that's not what Mark and yeah. in fact, in, in fact, even yeah. as a Catholic, you yeah. should know that Jesus and the I'm Father. Not, I'm, not uh, I'm, a, I'm a Christian. Yeah. Okay. Whatever yeah, you yeah, to call yourself, yeah. Yeah. if you go by the creed, which is what you get, where you get your Trinity sure. from, not definitely from from the Bible. So the creed states that each of the persons of the Trinity are are, are separate. Well, I mean, my authority, not, my authority wouldn't be of the. You, you have to prove this from the Bible, not the creed, because I. But where I, you, I in the okay, Bible. so where do you get where do you get the claim that uh, Jesus and the Father are the same person? I don't think they're the same person. So they are different they're persons. Two, but they but they work in the, they work in perfect unity. No, no, hold on, hold on. Did he just say they are not the same person? Can I, can I finish what I was going to say though? Yeah. Okay, go on. Yeah, let me finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't think in the same way that the same person, as in like, some people might try to say that Jesus was the Father, then he transformed to the Son, then he transformed no, to no, the Son. No, no, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I personally don't believe yeah. that is the case. I meant like you and Mark, because earlier yeah, yeah, you tried to allude you're one person, you're not. Can, can, I, can I finish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but you need to, you need to understand what, where I'm trying to yeah, 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 come but, from. But because me, earlier yeah. you tried to allude that you and Mark, if you were married, Sorry, if he was a female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sorry, don't. I don't mean to yeah, demean you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's say. Let's say another woman. Let's say a Christian. Yeah, yeah. Let's say you're married to a Christian yeah. woman. You and that woman would be one couple, not one person. Do you agree? Can I? Can I? Can I elaborate on? Can I just finish what I was just saying? Yeah, yeah go on. Yeah. Right? Um, so, where were? Yeah. So, I would say so they were they were together in the beginning with the Holy Spirit, and they work in such harmony in perfect unity that they might as well be the one person. Now, now let me let me let me continue to explain this. Yeah. Um, if I was, or say the two people were married, yeah, and they have the same bank account, okay, they have, they, they have the same lives, their schedule works around each other, um, and a perfect marriage would work in the sense that, um, say the husband was coming back from work, he would know what the wife wants, with, like what to buy, buy from the grocery shops, because they're the one flesh, they work in perfect unity. Yeah? They're still not one I mean, person. Ideally, though they are. They, Damien, they, it doesn't matter yeah. how you spin it, they when, are not one no, person, no, but trust when, me. When, do you know when they you're, you're just digging yourself deeper now. No, no. You need to admit I'm they are not, not one person. I'm not admitting it, because you know when people get married, they get pronounced as the one. Okay, let me, ask, let me ask somebody else. Mark, <laughs> if, a, if two people are married, are they one person? Are they one couple? Which one is it? They're one flesh. No, it's that's what the Bible says. Okay, that's one flesh meaning what? What does it mean? It means what it means. Okay, does it mean they are one person? I, I disagree. In a marriage, you have, you have two persons, yeah. but it's one unity. Thank you very much. Right? So there are two it, persons. It, yes, but Good. it's same, it is same Do you agree with that? The, the Bible yeah. says No, we are, we are coming to the Trinity. First, let's Why? establish Sorry. the basics. Yeah, yeah. Because I? the thing is about language, we need to understand and we need to be on the same page. Otherwise, we'll be all over the place. Sure. So now, there are two people who have said that they are not one person. You can call it one flesh, no problem, but that is metaphorically speaking. One flesh means what? That means if they are divorced, does it mean they are still one flesh? No. Well, I mean, See what I, I mean? Really, ideally, they wouldn't get divorced. Means, yeah. Well, ideally, yeah. it's not the case in the Christian world or the Muslim world. People do get divorced. Sure, but okay? because of sin. The only problem is in, in, in Islam, the women have the right to divorce if the husband is abusive. In Christianity, you don't have the right. The only right for the woman to get divorced is on the grounds of adultery. But that's 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 not just for the women. That that works both ways. Yeah, you know that, right? both, yeah, both. It's, it's for, it's yeah. With men and I said abuse. Yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah. normally it is a woman who gets abused. Yeah, sure. Very few cases. I agree with you. There are men well, who do I mean, get abused. Yeah. That, I mean, but but you see, this is the freedom Islam gives okay. to both the male and the female to get divorced on the grounds sure. of abuse, on the grounds of uh, not taking the responsibility. Yes, and so on. Anyway, we we, can, we can side track. So yeah, let's let's yeah, go yeah. back to that. So what was? Can you repeat the question? Okay. So my question was very simple. First and foremost which I asked you is that, is there anywhere in the entire Bible where Jesus ever claimed to be God explicitly? Jesus himself? Yes. I, I am not 100% sure, and, and probably Jesus didn't say, I am God. But no, I didn't Bible, say in those yeah, words. Yeah, yeah. I never Bible, said in those words. The Bible says that Jesus is God, and the Bible the Bible is my authority. Okay. Yeah, so you're saying Jesus never said it, somebody else said it? I mean, it's in If the I understood Bibles. it correctly. Yeah, Paul said it, yeah. Peter, I think no Peter alluded okay. to it. What about you, Mark? Do you John think Jesus said ever yeah. said or claimed that he was God? I think the Bible affirms that Jesus is God, but I, no, no. Did Jesus ever claim to be God? He said that he was the son of. He affirmed that he was the son of the Blessed One. Okay, so he claimed to be the son of God, but not God. He made him. Uh, the Gospels explicitly say that he he forgave sins, which made him equal with God. No, but yeah, you see, does say that. when you say when that. you look look when you forgive sins, for example, you're able to forgive your brother. Yeah, does that make you God? No, it doesn't. But only God can forgive. Sins. No, no, no. The disciples were given the power to forgive. Yes? <laughs> yeah, through, through the power of God. Exactly. In so, did that make the disciples God? Uh, 
uh, what they did it in the name of Jesus Christ. I know, but even yeah. then, does it yeah, make them God? Use, yeah, but they used the power of Christ. No, you, you never said to forgive in the name of Jesus Christ. You just made that up, Mark. Nice try, by the way. What about you? Do you think Jesus explicitly ever claimed to be God in the Bible? He claimed to be the Alpha and the Omega. And who, who by the way, that was the dream of John. That wasn't the words of Jesus. Yeah, that, 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 that's Jesus that proclaiming Jesus to him. Words. No, no, that's not the words of Jesus. You can't just that, pick and choose. What, like, my friend, have you, read, have you read Revelations 1? Uh, yes. It tells you how the dream starts. Yes. So John was actually yes. seeing a dream. Yes. And that's the reason, you know, when you, when you go on reading Revelation, it talks about the seven spirits of God. Does God have seven I mean, spirits? I, as in like... Okay. It I talks about the horns, like, can, can the seven horns and so on. So you see, look, if you go by Revelation, then you'll be clearly lost because that is a dream of John. And even, look, even if you were going to claim that he's the Alpha and Omega, then so is Melchizedek. You should worship him as well. Melchizedek had no beginning of days, no end of time. That's, that say, to me is say, Alpha and Omega. Did he say I am the Alpha and Omega? I didn't Jesus think he did. That he <laughs> no, no, that no, no. It says Melchizedek had no beginning of days, no end of time, no, no parents, no genealogy. That is better no, no, than no, Jesus, it, my friend. It, it does say that, but it, no, no, it does not better than Jesus. Why not? Because did Jesus have parents? Well, she had at least a mother. You can let me answer that or not? No, but I'm you telling you why is better. Yeah. So listen you to me. Answer it. Yeah, yeah. yeah before you answer it. Listen to what I'm saying. Why yeah, is better keep, than Jesus? You keep asking me, but then no offense. I'm not trying to. But you keep yeah, yeah, but, of, you no, keep but you need to let me finish about why I'm saying he's better than Jesus. Number one, when he says that, uh, when he says in Hebrews 7:3, that's where the reference is. You can check it out. It says he had no beginning of days, no end of time, which, which means he was eternal, which can only be for God. Look, I haven't I finished it. Patience, keep, my brother. Keep patience. Talk, you keep talking. No, no. You need to have questions. patience. Yeah, yeah. Number two, he had no mother and no father. Yes, Jesus at least had a mother. He had no genealogy. Jesus in the Bible has two genealogies. And that is the reason, my friend, these three reasons is the reason why he's better than Jesus. Go on. Now you can answer. Okay, okay. Um, but they just switch on the light. Uh, sorry. So your claim is Melchizedek is better than Jesus and should be worshipped as God. And you're, you're For the three points I just mentioned. The three points that you just yeah. made. That he has no genealogy. He has no. He came from nowhere, and he has no end. It says no that. beginning of days, no, no, beginning, no end of time. No end of time. Yeah. Which means he's um, eternal. And what was the third one? Can you elaborate? Uh, he had no parents. He had no parents. Okay. Yeah. Does it say that all things were made through him, and nothing was made that was not made through him? That's a different question. No, but I, you no, need to answer right. based on this. The, the question is: Does that say about that? No. About my friend, look. No, look, that's we, not a different question. That is on. Can, can I respond to that? I'll tell you why that is a different question. Because you see, there are many factors which make God yeah. God. So what you have done is, I've given you three factors. Yeah. You have introduced a fourth one now. If you're unable to answer these three, then we can move to another one. No, no, that's not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is, I'm saying the Bible says about Jesus that the, the, the letter of Paul to the Romans, I think it's in Romans, that nothing was made that was not made through him. Everything was made through Jesus. That's the, the, the claim of the Bible about Jesus. It does not say that. That's the reason I'm saying that's the fourth point. Which that's is not the fourth point. No, no, I'm saying... It doesn't fit in these three. The, the, I'm saying the reason that Melchizedek is not... Because your question was, is Melchizedek on par with Jesus? And I said... No, no I said he's better than Jesus yeah, yeah, in many yeah, cases. Yeah, yeah. He said he's in than these Jesus. three cases, and he's I better. Am, I am disagreeing. And my reason... Okay, I'll tell you what. Have you answered any of these three points? I mean, I'm Related to Jesus no, no. and Melchizedek? No. Okay, but those are three I'm answering your question. No, 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 I'm answering your, your question. No, no, he brought in a fourth point and, I'm, and I told him, right, yeah. I told him there are many things which make God, Almighty God, many factors which make him God. One of the things which makes him God is that he never dies. Did Jesus die? Yes. He rises again. Rise again. Yeah, he rise again. Well, rising yeah. again is for mortals. Yeah, but the Jesus Everyone who rises again is, is because they died. So you see, look, we can so, we, we yeah, can yeah. we can nitpick all day. But what I'm saying is that, look, one thing, you don't have an explicit passage from Jesus. All three of you were unable to give me no, one. No, no, that's he not what he gave me something which is from a dream of John. I'll tell you what, I'll give an explicit passage and you tell me if that is something which you agree or disagree with. And I'm going to bring it from Jesus. I'm like you guys. No, can I just say something though? Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you keep asking us questions and then whenever I try to answer them, you <laughs> yeah. sort of cut me off and you say... No, no I cut you off when you yeah, start yeah. answering, when you go because, off tangent. No, no, because you asked me why Melchizedek is not as good as Jesus. And I tried to answer you, but you said I'm introducing a fourth point. You did. No, I didn't. I'm telling you why. You, you did. You actually introduced about the creation. No, no, I'm telling you that the Bible makes this claim about a claim about Jesus that it doesn't okay. make about Melchizedek. Yeah. I, yeah, that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I told you. There are many factors which make God, God. And by the way, when you, when Jesus, when everything was made through Jesus, it doesn't mean everything was made by Jesus. Am I right? Well, I think it's, I, I think that's very much implied. There's really no, 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 no. If I make, if, if, if your teacher speaks through you as a student, sure. that doesn't mean you're the teacher, are you? 
if everything is made through me, I would say any other reading of that, of that, if I said to someone, if I said to Mark, hey, everything was made through me, I think the only reading, the only logical reading of that is that I made everything. Okay, let me ask yeah, you this. Otherwise, if everything was made by Jesus, then what did the Father do? Make nothing? Well, no, no. That's See what question. I mean? No, that's a good question. Yeah, do, you want, do you want me to answer that? Yeah, please do. What did the Father do? Yeah. The what did father, the Father make? The Father and Jesus, because they are the one God, made everything in perfect harmony together. They, they, they're the one God, yeah. So no, they, no, no, they no. Both hold on, hold on. Yeah. You just said on camera yeah. that everything was made by Jesus. Through Jesus. When I asked you, Through no, no, you also said by. I mean, it was, you said, yeah, you said yeah, yeah. that would actually mean that everything yeah, was made sorry, by yeah, Jesus. Yeah, that, yeah. And then when I prompted you with the, what the Father did, then you changed your stance and you included the Father in the Maker as well. Okay, can you, can I, I mean, to rectify my answer then? You Everything keep rectifying, that's fine. fine. Every time I ask you, you rectify. I've, no, no, I've done it once. Just that, that time. That okay, only, go on. That time, yeah. What are you going to rectify now? I, I'm going to say that the Father and Jesus and the Holy Spirit made everything. Okay, where does it yeah. say the Holy Spirit made anything in the Bible? That's a good, I don't, I. So you're, you're making that, a claim yeah, which is not in the Bible. I over to Walters in the, in the first uh, words of Genesis. He was why, do you, why do you think that is the Holy Spirit? Because it says it was the Spirit. Spirit. Is the Father Spirit? Yeah, yeah God is Spirit. So if, if the Father is Spirit, that passage in Genesis refers to the Father, not the Holy Spirit. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what... No, no, I don't know. Yeah, but the Father is also Spirit. John 4, 24. Sure. Yes, God yes. is Spirit. Yes. Yeah. So there you go. So, so the I, Father I is Spirit. I, I don't know. You know what? I don't know what the Father did. I don't know what the Father did. I assume in my reading that he made everything with Jesus. But the Bible does Please say, don't assume yeah, about God. Sorry, oh, sorry, okay. Okay, with all due respect, you know, when we talk about I, God, one thing Islam teaches is very clear, which is like, if God reveals something to you about him, mm. then only he knows what he is. Anything beyond that or anything less than that is actually blasphemous to God. Because the thing is, you see, we cannot speculate. Well, Na neither does, well, neither does God expect us to know everything about him. Yeah. No, no, I think so we only I know, that, yeah. we only know about God, what he revealed I, to us. I, I disagree with that. I actually think well, there's, you, you there's, there's, there is room for speculation. Because so you are, you're saying, so you, you know, know yeah, but no, no, but you, sure. I, I want to know why you uh, are yeah, disagreeing. I'm about, I'm about no, no, I'm I'm to, I want to know yeah, why, yeah. which part you're disagreeing. Are you disagreeing okay. with the part that you know more than what, reveal, uh, what God revealed about himself? I didn't say that, no. Okay, so that's why I'm asking, because he actually agreed with me. Yeah, and, I, disagree. and I want to know what you're disagreeing with. Yeah, what, what I'm saying is I think you can speculate because you can. Um, especially in our, the letters that we have, they're not, they're not clear cut. And a lot of, a lot of us as Christians, I, we, we, we're trying to figure out how to live Christian lives because some, uh, a lot of the time we're trying to figure out the teachings. Right? So, so are you saying you can spe speculate about God? I'm saying we can speculate the teachings of God, yes. What am I no, no, speculate about, about God. God. Yeah, absolutely. So you would say something about God which you don't have no knowledge of? I, I would say that we are speculating from the things that we see in the Bible. That's not speculating. If it's in the Bible, I think you need to go look up the word speculate. It's, well, I mean, speculate is something that you don't know and you're making up yourself. That's not the case. No. Speculate is how, can you, how can you do speculation when it's in the Bible? It's not speculation. No, speculate is to ask the question, what if? No, and what no. if this means that? Yeah, yeah. So, what if, that means so what, if, what if doesn't include the Bible, does it? I mean, we would we would take a verse of the Bible and say, what if that means this, or what if this? Means oh, you that? mean interpretation? It, well, yeah, sorry. That's, that's different. That's, that's not speculation. Yeah, Come on, yeah, yeah. let's let's stick to what. Okay, so now I'm earlier I told you that I'm going to give you a passage from Jesus, which is explicit and which actually denies the Trinity, which is your belief, yeah? Because you you guys are Trinitarians. Okay, so Jesus in John 17:3, he says, "This is eternal life that they may know you, the Father, mm -hmm. okay, the only true God." and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Now, in that passage, Jesus is saying that the only true God is who? Well, I've got a question for you now. You're now using my scriptures to try and disprove my belief that you don't believe in them. So if you believed in these scriptures, you would then believe that Jesus was God, because that's what it says. Do you not see the 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 problem in that question you just asked? I don't at all. No. Okay. Jesus also says, I am <laughs> yeah. the Father, and the Father is God. Okay. But you don't so, believe wait, in Wait, 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 guys, guys. You don't you, do you believe in the Bible? I do. Yeah. Okay, so now answer yeah. the question. According to Jesus, who is the only true God in John 17, 3? In John 17, 3. Yeah. Uh, can, you, can you repeat the Do you know the yeah. verse? Or do you want yeah, yeah I know the verse. Yeah. This is eternal life, yeah. that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. The yeah. you here is the Father. So when Jesus says this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, meaning the Father, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom the only true God sent. So yes, my answer to that is that um, Jesus uh, was a man who was sinless, yeah? 
And in the Jewish customs, yeah, they worshipped the one God. Okay, so Jesus obeyed the law. He worshipped God as the one God. Which God yeah, yeah. did he worship? He worshipped Yahweh. He worshipped the Father, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Whom, whom he, he was God. No, he no, that's God. fine. That's yeah. fine. So Jesus being God, he worshipped another God. No, he worshipped the Father. Well, it's another yeah. God, right? He's not Jesus. Mm. The Father is not Jesus, right? Well, then we go back to what I explained to you about the one flesh. Yeah. No, but they are not one person. We they already are. agreed that. The one, no, no, the, one, the one God. Even yeah, yeah. the Father doesn't have flesh. Where are you getting this from? Speculating about God again? No, no, I'm not saying the, the Father has one flesh. Neither remember, is Jesus married no, no, to the Father. No, no, so how is he one flesh? Do you remember when we talked about the marriage being one flesh? Yes. We go back to that analogy. That's okay, so is Jesus married to the Father? Jesus, no, the, the, the Trinity yeah. is symbolic of what a, ma a marriage is symbolic of the Trinity. No, it's not. It is. In a marriage, you can get divorced if there's adultery. Yeah, because of sin. But in an ideal marriage, you wouldn't. Okay, you yeah. know, look, I don't know where you're getting this. So is Jesus <laughs> telling a lie? From the Bible, Wait a minute. Is right. Jesus telling a lie when he says the only true God is the Father? Uh, no, he's not. He's absolutely so he's telling the truth. Yeah, he's so whom do I believe, Jesus or you? Because you guys are saying the Trinity. Jesus is saying only the Father. I'm not saying it. The Bible is saying it. I'm asking yeah, yeah. you, whom do I believe? You? Because no, no, no. Don't no, no. Say me. Say the no, no. The Bible never it's talks the about Bible. the Trinity. It's your the, interpretation. The, the Bible does. It talks okay. about. Where does it say the three are one? Go on. When uh, Jesus says I am one with the Father. And the That's only two. Where he says the three are one. <laughs> Even if I took that at face value, it's only two. The Show me why it says the, the three are one. The commissioning in the end of Matthew's gospel, I commission you to baptize kids in the name of the Father and the Son. And the where does it say they are one? Yeah. Even in the commission. The great commission doesn't didn't, mention it. Didn't he say he's one with the disciples as well? Yes, he does say that. But he's, he, yeah, he's connected with them in as when the Spirit comes. The question was, where does it say the three are one? Because that's what the Trinity means. The Trinity doesn't just mean they, three persons, you know that. It means together. the three persons are one. The Bible, just, the Bible describes them as working working together it doesn't explicitly working together, say, together it doesn't, doesn't make them one it doesn't explicitly define the doctrine of the trinity but it does show these Thank three you. persons so, that's what i wanted to hear sure, sure, sure. so your friend God. here just yeah. admitted that it doesn't talk about the trinity explicitly not doctrine, not, yeah. not, not trinity, but it does show them working together so, because you said it is God. in there so i want to know from you where does one it say okay, the three are one so the, the answer is i don't know it's okay. not there. But, but I do know. My friend, that, it's not no, no, there. Yeah, yeah. That's no, no, the reason the church... Me, gonna, sorry, no, no, that's the reason the church took 400 years yeah. or sorry, 350 yeah, years. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you gonna, you're, you're, you're not listening. I'm listening. You're going to Okay, go on. Because what will happen is... Show me the Trinity from the Bible. Go on, I'm giving you a chance. If I ask you a question, I'm happy for you to explain your answer, but you don't seem to be happy to... No, no, I waited. Look, I asked you first. Give me like a minute. Once I answer your question, give me like one minute I tell you what, I tell you what. My question was very explicit. Yeah. You have to show me the Trinity from the I, Bible. Do I have to? Or? Well, you have, if you claim you if you claim it's in there, then you have to. Okay. This either is, you yeah. either you may, either you retract your statement, because earlier when I asked I'm you, not retracting my statement. That's fine. Yeah, then yeah. then you have to show me from the Bible where it talks about the Trinity explicitly. I, no, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to show that to you. I'm not <laughs> you see, when I give him a chance to speak, gonna, he's saying it's not there. So you cut me off already. Are you going okay. to cut me because off? Because if you are yeah. going to not answer the question, okay. no, no, wait. If you're not going to answer, sure. If you're not going to answer the question. Then, then I, there's no I, point in you elaborating something which I didn't ask. I'm you. gonna, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna tell you what they I think of the matter. Give, give me yeah, a minute. Yeah, okay, okay, go on. Okay. Yeah, ask for a minute. In the fairness, yeah. he did answer the question, yeah. but what's he relying on? Yeah. Why does he believe in the Trinity? If there's no, if, if there's no explicit yeah. statement of the Trinity in the Bible, yeah. why do you hold that? I, I literally haven't had one single minute yeah, to, yeah, answer, saying, to answer, to tell you what I believe. Yeah, yeah. This is what I know from the Bible. Yeah. Okay. I know that the, that the Holy Spirit is holy. Blaspheme against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. I know that Jesus has, Jesus, the Bible claims that Jesus is eternal, yeah? And he claims to have been with the Father before the earth began, no, I've been here, I've okay? Been that is, or before Abraham was, if you want to say it. But he was also there before the foundations of the world. The Bible also says that, okay? So, that is what I believe about the three. If you want to, if, I can't, I can't pull out a verse that tells you. I was coming to that, let him finish, let him finish. Otherwise he'll claim, he'll claim that I didn't give him chance. No, no, I'm not claiming anything. I'm claiming that's what I believe. Yeah, but what you just said doesn't prove the Trinity. You're not, you're giving him 25 seconds. Yeah, go, 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 go. That's what I believe. I think he finished. No need to interject unnecessarily. No, no, okay. yeah. yeah, so yeah. is that your answer? That, that, is, is, no, no. Was that your answer? That's what I believe. No problem. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. problem. That's what you believe. Have you okay. Your what is your what is your understanding of the Trinity? My understanding of the Trinity is that I believe, okay, so the God is made of three. Yeah, the Holy Sorry, Spirit. God is made of three? God God is 
three persons in one. Stop. Where does it say that in the Bible? It doesn't say that. I just told you what I believe. So you okay, so, you so, so you're speculating then, you're speculating. Shall I say you're speculating? Okay, okay, so hang on a sec. If, if it doesn't that, say in okay. the Bible, then you're speculating. Blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. Yeah, we know the Holy Spirit came from heaven upon Jesus. No, no, I heard that already. I want to know what is your understanding of the Trinity. I'm, t that is, I'm just telling you. Am I not telling you now? You're, told you you're, repeating, you you're, you're repeating what you said earlier. Because that's my understanding. No, no, your understanding of the term Trinity. Of the term Trinity? Yeah. It means three. Three that's what? It. It's Trin the word Trinity itself. Do you yeah. want me to look up the other etymology? By the way, the term, the term Trinity doesn't mean three. Okay, tell it, me what it means. It means three in one. In one. Yes, exactly. So, that's okay. what we yeah, yeah. Okay. So, three in one. so it's not exactly. He said, he said three. So stop interrupting unnecessarily. Once again, okay, so what I'm saying is that the Trinity, look, can if I, can it I is... Can say something now? Yeah, let me um, finish you, and then you, you can. Okay, if you don't want him to interrupt, you need to start asking him questions. No, no, if, you, if he wants questions. to answer questions, yeah. the but thing is, do, he's, no he's, he's saying do, something yeah, yeah. He's saying something that you didn't say. But you do turn but, and you ask him Yeah, questions. I do, then, because the thing is, when I ask him, then he's, he's able to answer, no problem. But, but you're then including him, you know what I mean? But then, but the thing is, look, when when you use the term Trinity, the term three means three. The term Trinity doesn't mean three. Exactly. It means three in one person. Exactly. And that's why I was correcting you. Sure. So this understanding of the Trinity, it's clearly not there in the Bible. And that's the reason you went to, when no, the no, spirit is, is blessed. I, I you, let me I finish my first. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'll I was you, coming, yeah, I'm yeah, coming yeah, to yeah, that. Sorry, yeah, my fault. Yeah, so when you yeah, said yeah. that, when the spirit is blasphemed, then, sorry, uh, when you speak against the spirit or something, it's, it's blasphemy, they'll never be forgiven. Okay. I can give you more. If, no, if you no, want no, but more. hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. So when you blaspheme against the Father, will you be forgiven? Um, that's another discussion point. No, no, it's that, because the thing, according to you, all three are equal, right? What's that? According to you, all three persons are equal. Well, I mean, there's, we, can, we can talk about what these verses mean if you like. So you, wait, wait, are you saying if you, if you blaspheme against the Spirit, you will for, be forgiven or not forgiven? Jesus says that you will not be forgiven. Okay, that's why you are... Do you want me to tell you what that means? No, no, you will not be forgiven is quite, quite uh, I think, specific, well, okay, isn't it? Okay, what does it mean to blaspheme against the Spirit then? It means if you speak against, the, for example, if you say the Holy Spirit is not God or doesn't inspire people... How do you know that? I'm, I'm telling you no, no, I'm my you answer. You know yeah, yeah. I'm giving you my answer. And, and so, yeah, you yeah, ask me a question, allow yeah, me to sorry, finish my answer. It, yeah. Okay? So, according to you, look, blasphemy is something which is clear in the Bible. What is blasphemy? One of them is, if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, you will not be forgiven. Now, my question is, is it just the Holy Spirit or is it the Father and the Son as well? Because the thing is, if, if all three are co-equal, then whatever applies to the Holy Spirit should apply to the Father and to the Son as well. Then why does the Bible only talk about the Holy Spirit? I mean, I'd like to tell you what that verse means. To blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. You couldn't really answer it for me. When okay, I go on. You tell me your answer. What does it mean? It's a long, it's a long answer. Uh, but, but you said, do we really... Do we need... The Holy Spirit is what works, works inside. Yeah. To, to, the, we know that the Holy Spirit wants to change us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so to blaspheme against that is to have a hard heart to, to resist that. Yeah, to not, to, not, to not submit to the workings of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Yeah. And how do you know it is the Holy Spirit that's working through you? Oh, uh, I, can't, I probably can't quote that verse off the top of my head. Can anyone help me uh, out? 1 Corinthians, the word, Holy Spirit. Yeah. No, no, I'm not talking about the verse which says the Holy Spirit works through you. I'm asking how do you know it is the Holy Spirit and not the unholy spirit which is working through you? Because many people are un led by the Satan. Yes, under the impression, like you said, the Satan can take any form. That's a good question. He yeah? can take the form of an angel. By the way, yeah, you know the Satan yeah. cannot take the form of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But he can take the form of an angel, that's what the Bible says. No, no, but even an angel, the thing is, if, if somebody comes and tell, tells you that I am Jesus, go and bow down to the Satan. Yeah? So, 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 so can you rephrase Yeah, what I meant is that the Satan can come in the form of Jesus to you. He can come in the form of an angel as well. He can, yeah. By the way, according to you, the Satan is an angel, right? <laughs> well, uh, that's, that's a, that's a <laughs> at least in okay. Islam, we are clear about that. That the, the Satan, yeah, yeah. the Satan is from the jinn, not from I, the angels. Look, I don't know the answer to that question. I think the, yeah, okay. that's another so, discussion. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, so yeah. going back to the question which I asked, I, I think we sidetracked again. When Jesus explicitly said that the only true God is the Father, according to you, was he telling the, the truth? But the, but the, the question you ask is, you wanted to know my understanding of the Holy Spirit. I feel like I gave you a pretty clear picture of how I understand. I never said you didn't. Okay, yeah. but I think we, like, I think all I'm saying, all I'm saying is that your understanding of the Trinity, it, it is something which is different. Because if it is just three, what you did there, you individually said, look, they are God. The Holy Spirit is God, the Father is God, and Jesus is God. And that, like my friend told you earlier, would be three gods, hence tritheism. Well, I mean, that and polytheism. The spirit, the spirit is often re referenced as the Spirit of God as well. Um, and, and, and in the beginning, the Spirit was there, hovering above the waters. Yeah, and um, I told you earlier, Jesus, that could be the Father. What's that? The Father himself is Spirit. Well, I mean... 
You mean what? what we would we would say we would say it's the, the spirit. Why can't the Father be spirit? What's that? When the Bible in John 4 24 clearly says that God is a spirit which includes the Father, why can't the Father be spirit? Why are you only fixated, fixated on the Holy Spirit? Okay, so I think to, to make it a bit clearer for you, when we are commanded to make disciples, Jesus himself commands us to make disciples in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What's that got to do with Genesis? Nothing. What's that? What's that going to do with Genesis? We were talking about Genesis. It's, not, it's got nothing to do with Genesis. Okay, so once again, the waters, the spirit hovering Which, over the waters in Genesis could be the Father. Am I right? No, 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 I'm not answering that question. I'm going back because you said, what, you talk about the word Trinity, right? Yeah. And I told you what you, you just said. Yeah, what yeah, you did there was, you, you actually proved the tritheism. No, but you wanted me to, you wanted me to get it from this. That's, that's no, no. what you wanted. I didn't want no, the word Trinity. No, no, I did no, not want me to see how I understand yeah, yeah. that. And I, I've just said, that, that, so I can't really make it any more clearer than that. That's, we are commanded as Christians to make disciples in the name of the Father and the, whole, of the Son and the Holy Spirit by Jesus himself. Yeah, okay, so that's, I mean, that's... How does that prove the Trinity? It doesn't prove the Trinity. I mean, it doesn't prove the Trinity, but that's, that's my understanding of the Trinity. Yeah. By the way, you know the Great Commission? The Great Commission, which talks about baptism. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. Do you know how many baptisms were carried out in the New Testament? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. Quite a, quite a few. And guess what? Not a single one of the baptisms from the entire New Testament was in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. What does that prove? Either everyone rejected the command of Jesus, or this was a later later edition. I'm really confused because I feel like you you are really, really adamant on getting some stuff from Jesus, from the words of Jesus, and I've just gave it to you, and now you're saying it's not real. I never said it's not you're real. Saying, you're not you're listening. It's a, it's a further edition. Even That's according what to James wait, wait. D. John, yeah? Yeah, yeah. he's one of the biblical scholars. Yeah. He actually mentioned that great commission as mentioned in Matthew's gospel is a liturgical tradition. You know what liturgy means? It's a church tradition. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Which came later on. Which came later on. So and that's the reason. By the way, by James D. Dunn, he's a Trinitarian Christian. Can you, can you say that again? I didn't quite catch that. Ja okay, yeah. James D. D. Dunn, he's one of the most um, yeah. popular. Jimmy Dunn, as he's known. Jimmy Dunn, yeah, yeah, yeah Jimmy yeah, Dunn, yeah, just yeah. to make it very short. Sure. Sure. He's one of the uh, popular um, biblical scholars, yeah? And he mentioned that that Great Commission verse is a liturgical tradition. It's added later on, meaning that this practice was done by the church. It was not done by the apostles. No, but okay, so uh, uh, he's a Trinitarian yeah, 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 Christian. Sure. But we we have notes in the, in the Bible that say where the manuscripts are unreliable. Okay, when we think that there's so actually further editions, and there's no there's no notation. On so why did Eusebius, when he submitted the the, the the creed at the Council of Nicaea, when he cited the the Great Commission, why didn't he cite it in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit? I don't know. That's your question. You have to look into it. I will look into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. By, by the way, when you mentioned the Great Commission, I did not reject it. I I gave you a rebuttal okay. of it. Well, a rebuttal no, doesn't no. mean rejection. It means we gave you a response to what you said. When you when you told me that it was a further addition, it sounded to me like you were saying that it was, it was a bit of a, it was kind of fabricated. Is, is it, it, it is possible. It is fabricated. You know why? Why? Because like I said, look, would you would you in your right senses ever imagine the disciples to reject Jesus' command? Uh, no, I wouldn't. Okay, so why don't we see any of the disciples baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? Uh, well, that's your answer. Mean the answer is that either, look, it, 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 for you it would be a cash 22 situation because either they all rejected the Great Commission command or it was a later edition. Which one is it? Or that it just doesn't mention it. It doesn't talk about it. No, no, it talks it about, it, hold on, it does talk about the, 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 the baptism in the name of Jesus or baptism uh, uh, like I think it's mostly in the name of Jesus, isn't it? In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In, in, in Peter, in the book of Acts, I think chapter 2, verse 38. Yeah. So you, just, you see... You, it's not just semantics at this point. No, no, it can't be. Yeah. Because you see, <laughs> it's, it's not semantic because it explicitly states only in the name of Jesus. Can I, do you know what? I mean, can I... I feel like we've talked a lot about the Trinity and I've, I've, you've kind of gotten as much as, as much out of me as, you, as I can probably give you. I can't really give you... But I still haven't got your response to John 7 and 3. John 7. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What is your what is your response to it? Either Jesus is telling lies or you guys are telling lies because okay. you're not on the same page. Okay. In the case of Jesus, there's only one person who's the only true God, and that is the Father. In your case, it's the Trinity. So who's who's telling the truth here? Either Jesus or you guys. Because both of you cannot be the same telling the truth because you're both telling the opposite. One is saying one person only is God. You guys are saying is, three persons yeah, yeah. are God. What is going on here is that yeah. you're taking one verse and you're taking it out of the context. And, and this tends to happen quite a lot. So if you, if, you, if you did give me that verse on its own and I read it just on its own, I'd probably go, okay, this is... Why do you say I took it out of context? Because there's, a, there's multiple, multiple other instances. No, no, you said I took it out of context. Where's the evidence yeah, for that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because there's multiple other instances. Okay, show me from Jesus. Then. 
No, no, multiple instances. Because oh, earlier, when, yeah, yeah, no, no. Earlier, I've already asked you this question. Show me from Jesus about the Trinity, and you had no answer. So it cannot be multiple instances all of a sudden now. Yeah, yeah, you, you. No, no, not from Jesus. From everybody else. Well, we did. We baptized people in the name of the Father. And we already Spirit. debunked that? Jesus. Okay. We, we no, no, well, I'm not, hang on. We, no, we haven't debunked that because I'm going to have to. I'll tell you how, yeah. how I debunked it. No one in the Bible yeah. baptizes in the name Can of the Father, Son, you, and the Spirit. Do you come here regularly? Again, do you come here regularly? Yeah, I do. Can you, do you mind if I think about that question? Yeah, yeah of course. Do, yeah. No problem. Because, because I obey Jesus. Right? No problem. Yeah, but I, yeah. just because it doesn't explicitly outline every single detail when people are baptized but we don't, doesn't mean, doesn't mean doesn't like they did. But not explicitly for the apostles, they did baptize and they did not baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and And my contention was what he said he said I took it out of context yeah, yeah, yeah. taking no, taking John yeah so John 7 and 3 if you said I took it out of context I'll tell you what why didn't you, you got the Bible on you read it Put it in context and then respond to it. Because Sorry, when I when I say context, I mean the context of the whole Bible. What's your name? Well, even in the context of the whole Bible, we don't see three in one anywhere. So I'm still right. I mean, we see fa the Father opening up the heavens and the Son and the, and the Holy Spirit descending on the Son. You're connecting okay, the dots. It's, 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 obviously, it's three in one. But, but, three but no, okay, okay, okay. So what I've what I've, I've given you about, I, I would say four. You gave me three. Points. Yeah, you, I think it, as I said. You've squeezed everything that I No, no, you gave us individuals. Name me yeah, one yeah. church father before 300 AD where I they believe that the Holy Spirit is fully deity, fully I, divine. I don't know that much church I'll history. Give, I'll yeah, give you yeah. the reference. Basil but the Great. What, Basil what, the Great. What I can do, what I can do is I can go and look into it and I can come back to it. Yeah. Okay, no because problem. Because this, this, this I, I'm not all, like, I don't know everything about the Bible. I think about church. But do you agree that your belief has to be based on proof? I 100% agree with that. And that leads me okay. to a question. What's, happening, what's yeah. happening right now is yeah. you've, you're applying something called eisegesis, yeah? Which means that you have a pre presupposition of belief. And what you're doing is you're just trying to find I, any, any proof that sort of aligns with your belief. And that's what you're doing. Because if you read, if you, if let, you read let me complete. You know what you mentioned? No, no worries. I'll let you complete, yeah? So when you say that the, the spirit... Uh, Hold above the above the heavens, etc. Above the waters, and you know, the, the, um, Jesus is God. Blah blah blah. Yeah, etc. You're just trying to connect the dots. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Or, or rather, hammering the hammering, hammering the uh, uh, square yeah? square in a circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. I'm not connecting the dots. A plain reading of the text. You, you go out of it. That's what you think. Okay. When you're connecting the dots, you you have this idea in your head, and then you go, "This is what we're going to try to make work." We're going to try and make it work. Let's see how we can make it work. That's not what happens when you read the Gospels. Okay, I'm not asking you to prove to me that Jesus is God. I'm not asking you to prove to you that the Holy Spirit is God. I'm not asking you to prove to you that the Father is God. What we're asking you is to prove these three are one God. So that's no, what the no, no, Trinity no, no. is. I was responding to you saying that I'm connecting the dots. That's what I was responding to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that's what you are doing. Like, I can't, like, I can, I've given you about... Five okay, uh, yeah. look, look, yeah. look, I'm not, ask, I'm not yeah. telling you that you're connected to us. Your church fathers are doing that. My church fathers. But, Basil the Great. But ba as, a, as, a, as a reader of the text, as yes. someone who reads the text from, from cover to cover, yes. that's, the, that's the understanding I come out with. Without having, but, I'm but not what, connecting yeah. the dots, I just have that understanding. But what the brother is saying, reading, what brother Hashim yeah. is trying to tell you, that the concept of Trinity is not from the teachings of Jesus. Because everything you this answered, is after, this all, is after yeah. years all the responses that you gave, they did not point, none of them pointed to the Trinity, which is the three are one. All of them pointed to this that individually you see them as God yes and then and then like he said connecting the dots then you automatically said look this is the Trinity that is what connecting the dots here is in your case that's not what's going on that's not what's going on at all I, what I'm saying is when you read the book when you read the Gospels and the letters of God we believe in that so you have to accept that as something I who did not even believe in Trinity? even, even Paul did not say he's about, anything he's about not even by the way. yeah he did well, not mean, say the three are one he, he, he doesn't say the three in one of those words he does reference no, he doesn't. He only reinterprets the Shema. I'll come, I'll come, I'll get a verse for you. I'll come back next week because I'm 100 percent No worries. No, no problem. Okay, let me let me okay. ask you. Can I ask you a question? Now you talked about proof, yeah. Yeah. So how, like, you guys believe in a Quran that was? So for example, uh, Muhammad, who was making speculations about things that happened. So if I came around, okay, and and I said, and I, as I said to you, we began this conversation, I said all these things, yeah. How is he able to make claims about something that happened? You already made three suppositions. Years? What, what speculations are you talking about? How, how can how can Muhammad, in your in your text, make claims about things that happened one and a half thousand years or even... even Why do you think it is Muhammad making claims? Yeah. If you have read the Quran, then you would have known that it is God who told him this. No, no, but you, you see the same, you, you got, 
you got to have the same standards here, right? I'm using the say, same standards. Because if I said if I said Paul made a claim, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a claim to you guys, right? If Paul, if Paul made this claim, yeah, the Bible makes. But where do you Muslims say these are the, the, uh, the Quran is the words of Muhammad? Who says that? Which Muslim says that? Well, I mean, we I believe it's the words of Muhammad. Okay, why? no, yeah, yeah. why? Because you believe it? You haven't read the Quran. Haven't That's why. The Quran. I have. Yeah, yeah. So if you read well, the Quran, okay, so you would know that the, it's not the, the people, words of Muhammad. The people who wrote the wrote, wrote the Quran. Re writing and authorship are two completely different things. So you would believe it's the words of God? No, sorry? It, it is the words of God. It is the words of God. Yeah, I don't believe first of all, God. First of all, does the Bible even make the claim these are the words of God? By the way, there's a simple does, answer. Yeah, it does. Hold it does. on. It does. Where? It says all scripture is uh, useful for teaching. For the New Testament? Yes. Uh, you're quoting from uh, Timothy, isn't it? Yeah. 2 Timothy. Yeah, 2, so. 2 Timothy 3, 16. When Paul wrote this, did Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John exist? Well, how do you know Paul wrote it? Huh? How do you know Paul wrote it? Actually, there's, there's this authorship is the same as. So, so you, know, you so you're even doubting your, the authorship of Paul? No, no. What I'm saying is, you, Paul or Timothy? Literally, what you just said. No, I'm. I'm, I'm that back I didn't even bring up about yeah. authorship of Paul. I'm assuming that this was authored by Paul. What's that? So, yeah. yeah so, what I'm asking you, yeah. you're quoting yeah. from First Timothy three sixteen, if I'm not mistaken. But, but yeah? I, yeah. That all scripture is is inspired by God. Yeah. When he wrote this down, did Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John did it exist? I. I, I'm not 100% sure. Can you rephrase that question? Well, oh, even, sorry, no, no. Even no, Jesus didn't exist. I can exist. see what's happening. No, no, even Jesus didn't exist. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. No, <laughs> Which scripture is he referring to? I feel like to? I've asked you a question. Sorry, but I, I have asked you a question. No, but now it hasn't gotten answered yeah, for me. In, my, in, my, in fact, my, Daniel, yeah. if, you, if you remember. Damien, Damien, Damien. Sorry, Damien. Yeah, sorry, if you remember, I, yeah. I already answered that question at the very beginning. Yeah. You remember you said that you believe everything because it's in the Bible. Yes. When I told you in the, the Quran explicitly says that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he is the messenger of God and he's the last messenger of God, then why didn't you use that stand why didn't you accept that from me? No, I don't accept it. Because then I shouldn't accept came, anything from your Bible. If you came historically with anything, any script, like if I came out with a script and I said, okay, this is what Julius Caesar said, yeah. and, I, and I came to Cambridge University with a script yeah. that my, or someone, Mark wrote, okay, because I'm illiterate, yeah, and said, this is what Julius Caesar said, no academic historian worth their soul would yeah. accept that in any, in any circumstance. Okay, so you go based on the historians, not based on the Bible. Though. I'm saying it's a, historically what we would say academic. Okay. Let me ask you this. Let me accurate. ask you this. If, yeah. if the historians did a thorough research of the Bible, and they came to the conclusion that this is unreliable historically, okay? Even in the uh, in the claims about uh, Paul and Jesus and all that, would you then reject the Bible? Yeah, I would question the Bible, but it's but it's actually it's quite historically accurate. It's quite sound. No, actually. no, it's not actually. It is very it, sound. It's not. It, is, it actually is. Yeah, yeah. Have you 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 if you read the Bible? Can you tell me what the criteria? Okay, I'll give you one. I'll give you one example can I, can I, can where it's not historically accurate. Can I ask you what the criteria for historical accuracy? Is? Yeah, for example, I'll give you an example. Not, not just the Bible, just historical accuracy in general. Like yeah, if you, if you have evidence for something, in history always relies on evidence, okay? On archaeological evidence, um, many times on testimonies as well, okay? So I'll give you one example. In the case of the Quran, you see, and the Bible, there's one clear example which actually proves the historicity of the Quran as being accurate rather than that of the Bible, okay? So in the time of Joseph, yeah, the head of the, head of the country was called the king not a pharaoh. In the time of Moses, he was called Pharaoh. In the Bible, both for Joseph and for Moses, the term Pharaoh is used, which, dis which actually proves that this cannot be historically no, no, accurate. But, but, can we, can but, I finish, please? Well, you, can you, I finish? Let me finish. In the Quran, Allah explicitly says, in the time of Joseph, the king is referred to as king, and in the time of Moses, the, uh, the pharaoh is referred to as pharaoh, not as the king. So you see, the hieroglyphics, uh, when the Rosetta Stone was discovered, that's when the hieroglyphics were actually deciphered. And that wasn't very long ago. The Quran came 1400 years ago, yet it is accurately representing the terminology used for the king and the pharaoh in the right context at the right time. But in the Bible, both cases is the pharaoh. In the time of Joseph, there was no mention of Pharaoh as being the head of state that time. Okay, I was fine. Yeah, go on. Okay, so I didn't ask you about whether the, the, the Bible the Quran was historically accurate. I asked you what the criteria for yeah. was for historical accuracy. Now you've you've then you've taken that and you've said that I give okay, you an example. That, that the Quran is correct because it accurately references a term yes. that in, in a certain period of time. I, I can go I can go and research online and I can come up oh, with Of course you can go research, no problem. Yeah, well, I haven't finished, I haven't finished. Yeah. And and I can write that in my manuscript that Mark's gonna submit to Cambridge University about what Julius Caesar said. Doesn't make it historically accurate, you know what I mean? No, no, if it look if it is a late edition they will know it 
Okay, so no, no, let me let me ask you this. But it's not a later edition. We're talking about a text that was written. No, no, but a text. A thousand years yeah, yeah. after the events that it was talking about. So it does rely on manuscripts, right? You can't just write a text and say this is two th from okay. two thousand years ago. It relies on what <laughs> manuscript? Uh, I think it's this manuscript. Uh, my friend, that is not a manuscript. That is a book. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of. It's made up of bibliography. No, you don't know what a manuscript is. I think you're making a lot of blunders. You need, you need to be careful about what you say. What is a manuscript according to you? According to historians. So hang on a second. We, we're here talking about the truth. If I slipped up in a word, does that change the truth? Okay, that? I think again? We, we're here trying to figure out the truth. If I've slipped up in a word, does that change the truth? No, it doesn't. It doesn't change the truth. It doesn't. No, no, no. So, so did you, you slip so up when you said manuscript free. for that? No, no, this is this manuscripts. My we friend, listen. Yeah, you you yeah, don't yeah. know what manuscripts. I, I don't think it's I don't think it's worth arguing about that because I think we're because you don't know what it is. So you're just making I, up I things. It's essentially okay, what is a manuscript I, according to the historical context? Yeah, to, I don't know according to the historical context. Well, any historical <laughs> context, you know, when I ask you. I, I know what a manuscript Okay, is. I'll tell you what. Yeah, yeah. What is the earliest manuscript of the Bible, yeah. of the New Testament? Well, you just said we should start right up. Just, That's why I'm asking you. In the context of the, of, of, of the book. <laughs> no wonder you're single. <laughs> <laughs> he goes around advertising I'm single. <laughs> okay. So, let me ask you this. If I told you, if I... Can we move back Why are they middle? all coming from here? There's a lot of space over there. Uh, we've got to go this way though, fella. Do you mind if we just move it? No, they are, they are done. Oh, okay. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Just stand there. They will not come here. <laughs> guys, guys, that way, please. We are recording here. Yeah, see, that's it. It's like sheep, you know. Just do, do for one and they will all, they will all follow. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, where were we? So, look. If I were to ask you, what is the earliest manuscript of the Bible? Yeah. And this is, by the way, this is reliable information from all Christian sources, including that there is not a single manuscript of the Bible from the first century. Look, I, again, I'm not a historic, his, historical scholar, so I don't. I didn't say you were. Let yeah, me finish. I'll tell you what I'm, yeah, where yeah, I'm trying yeah, to get yeah, yeah, yeah. to. You can go home and research this by yourself if you think I'm just making it up. Yeah, so, yeah. so none, yeah. none of the Bible scholars will claim that they have a manuscript from the first century regards to the Bible, well, especially the, 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 New Testament. Testament. the New Testament, the New Testament, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so for 100 years since Jesus, you have zero manuscripts from the second and third centuries and even the fourth century, you might have a few, uh, you know, few pieces of manuscripts or maybe a few books as well. Most of them are from fourth century and some of many of them are even much later than that. Now, let me ask you this. If you have a gap of 300 years between Jesus and the earliest full manuscripts of the Bible, 300 years, yeah? Do you think that's a huge gap? Well, I, I would say it's less of a gap than one and a half thousand years or 2,000 years that Muhammad sort of, that's the gap between Muhammad uh, and that's, the you're, you're comparing apples and oranges now. No, I'm not. No, 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 Shall I tell you why? Shall I tell you why? Don't okay, go back. Go ahead, go okay, ahead. because yeah, I'm yeah. talking about manuscripts. Yeah. You're talking about the time period. So, you know, you talking about, so you I, I'm talking about the manuscript. Are, you are talking about time period as well. No, no, I'm talking about you're the talking, manuscript evidence. Yeah, but manuscript uh, time period within the context of manuscripts. I didn't like how long was it between the first manuscript yeah, the, was written. Not first manuscript was written, the earliest available manuscript. The earliest avail available yeah. manuscript, yeah. So if you have so, a gap of 300 years between the earliest available manuscripts of the New Testament. But I don't get the point that you just made. The point is this. Because yeah, yeah. I because I, I then made a claim that Muhammad, whatever you want to call it, writings, manuscript, yeah. the I'll come to that, I'll come Quran. to that. But like yeah, I said, yeah. that's comparing apples and oranges. Because I, what I, you're I saying, I don't think it is. no, no, what you're it. saying has got nothing to do with manuscripts. I think it's comparing apples and apples. But. No, it's not. It's got nothing to do with manuscripts. Okay. Do you know how the Quran was composed? Okay. Yeah, Bro brother, wait, no, no, let no, me no, finish no. that point first. Okay. okay. Yeah, so so what I'm saying is that, look, if you have a gap of 300 years, it is like Chinese whispers. Because you cannot rely on who said what. So many of these Bible scholars, when they write, when they write uh, commentaries, when they write, they say, uh, in fact, they are saying to you that these so-called red letter uh, words in the Bible, you must have seen the red letter Bible. That's not part of scripture. Well, that's what they're claiming it is. The people, it's not, it's not part of the people who printed your Bibles are claiming that these are the words no, of it's Jesus. Not, it's not, it's not part Sorry, it's not part of what? If I, got, if I got a Greek Old Testament, a Greek Old Testament out now, yeah. there would be no red letters in it. No, no, but what does the red letter signify? I mean, people put them in there. No, no, what do they the, signify? What do they signify? Yeah. People put them in there. What does it signify? Yeah, two. People put them in there. Two. He's, he's not getting to highlight, I don't think he's getting To it. highlight the words of Jesus. Exactly. That's put in there, though. Okay. Yeah. So, so are you arguing that those words of Jesus are not the words of Jesus? If I, if I take your Quran, I'll highlight everything that Muhammad said. The, the, no, no. Then make that. But that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> You're presupposing. I'm not. The Quran no, no, is the I'm, words of Muhammad. I'm saying this isn't the red letter Bible. It's, it, we, some Christians have done that. 
as, as sort of almost like a it's a looks thing so that we can see the words of Jesus a bit better. That's literally it. No, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand from you. Do you actually, are, are you arguing that those are not the words of Jesus? I'm saying that this is the word of God, which has as much authority. I, I don't think you understand what I'm trying to say. The red letter Bibles, which are out there, printed out there by Christians, not by Muslims. Okay. Those red letters, for example, when Jesus says, I and the Father are one. Yeah. Yes. Highlighted in red. Yeah. That's highlighted in red. Some, yeah. some Christians, not in this Bible. I know, I know, but are you saying, are, are you saying, are you saying that when Jesus said, "I and the Father are one," is that not the wording of Jesus? I am, from his mouth, he said, "I and the Father are one." Yeah. Do you believe that? I'm asking you. You, you believe your Bible? What's that? John 10:30, yeah. when he says, "I and the Father are one," do you believe those are the words of I, Jesus? I do believe that's right. Okay, so yeah. when the people who highlight it in red and say this is the words of Jesus, why are you disputing with them? Because I, I think that's a, that's a stylistic picture. I think you just yeah. want to find a way to disagree. Yeah, I think he's just yeah, like, disagreeing with everything. There are some things that we I've, can I've always thought that, though. I'll so you you're saying that me, that me, like, that five years ago, we've always thought, actually, this is just a stylistic thing. That I'm just saying, I'm springing that up now. No, I've, I've thought that for quite a long no, time. I think you're missing the point either, or you're just arguing for the sake of the, arguing. Think, <laughs> the, problem is, the problem is you cannot have a healthy discussion yeah. if yeah. you don't have a common agreement. But what is the point? That's the can point. I, can I ask you the point? The point is, if you are agreeing that these are the words of Jesus when he says I and the Father are one and those people who highlight it in red are also saying the same thing then why are you disagreeing? Well they are the words of Jesus. Exactly, yeah, that's what they're saying that's by highlighting saying. it in red. That's exactly what they're saying. It's the words of Jesus but I don't believe that. I believe in the, in the Bible. Yeah. I guarantee so, you if, if yeah. it was a Christian who told you about the red letter Bible you would believe in it. No, but no I think he'll argue with him. I've already, <laughs> already had, yeah, yeah I would. Yeah. I would argue. Because <laughs> yeah, I've had discussions with him. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, alright, so yeah, Damien. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Damien, let me ask you. Okay, even. But I guess what I'm trying to ask is what's the point of this red letter Bible? Okay, then Should I tell you why even if the red letter was there? and it's, it's typed in English, or even if it's typed in Greek, okay? What is the language of Jesus? The language of Jesus? I think it's Aramaic. Aramaic. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any manuscripts in Aramaic? Do you, do you From the, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. In fact, the earliest ones are available are actually in Greek. Greek, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So you have lost the original language. What you're left with is the interpretation of people who wrote it in Greek. So you have completely lost the real wording of Jesus. So all those red letters, yes, I finally agree with you. They are not the words of Jesus. They are assumed to be the words of Jesus based on the interpretation of the Greek people who wrote it in Greek. So you have, number, number one, you have a huge gap of 300 years of, of, of no manuscript, which is entirely uh, that of the New Testament. You have, yeah, you have uh, bits and pieces. Okay, you can go and look it up, no problem. Okay, because you see, even the earliest complete manuscript of the New Testament, for example, the Codex Sinaiticus, which is here in the British, uh, British Library, you can go and check it out, yeah, that has two extra books, so it's not canonized. So even the earliest manuscripts, which are, which are full, are actually not canonized. So it has the Shepherd of Hermes and the Epistle of Barnabas as extra books, which were then taken out during canonization. So why why does why does Muhammad rely on this to get some of his information? Oh, come on, you haven't actually researched that, have you? You you got that from here, didn't you? But, but how else did Muhammad get the information about? Okay, what did Muhammad actually say? Let's see if you know that. Yeah. What did I mean, he, no, what, he made claims. No, no, you said he relied on it. Yeah, Tell yeah. me what exactly he made, did he say? He made claims. What did he claim? I don't know exactly what he claimed, but he was making claims on the, about history. Shall I tell you? You haven't researched it. Did he? Did he say? Did he not say that when Moses? No, no, came don't ask. Just wait, wait. We are not going to answer this, because did, you. No. What you need to do is you need yeah. to go and research, research it, it. Yeah. just like the way we did. I, can I? Can Damien, I? Damien, Damien, I, 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 I know you got though. it from Islamic, uh, from a Christian website. Yeah. I know. No, no. I've, I've, I've looked yeah. all of you these. Even, but you didn't even know what I was about to say. You didn't even know what I was about to say. I asked you if you. You don't know what I was. I know what you're going to. But you cut me off. No. So how can you? Damien, I asked you if you had done the research, and you said no. Yeah. I didn't say that. Okay, do, have yeah. you done the research? I've done some. How much research do you mean? With I've done, some, I've done some research. Okay, with regards to this point yeah. you're going to make, have you done the research? Absolutely. Okay, what, is, what did Muhammad say? Let's see if you've done the research. No, I'm not. I'm, Let's see if you're telling the okay, truth now. Okay. Because okay. he said he's done the research. Because now you're asking me a question about what Muhammad said. That's not yeah. the question. That's not the point. Okay, I'm what, is, what is the point you're making? The point I'm making is that Muhammad wrote his book, or wrote about events. So, for example, here's a, here's a random example, right? Did, did Muhammad say, he talked about Moses coming down from uh, from Mount Sinai and then there was a cow it's and not Muhammad said, it's Allah oh, said. Oh, okay, sure. Okay. No, I, I didn't I want to answer. Yeah. The reason... No, the, but, sorry. He's yeah, yeah I know. That's the reason I, That's the reason I wanted to know if he's telling the truth okay. when he said okay, he had sure. done the research. Because he claimed he had done the research. Sorry, I'm not smart enough. You, you, I, I, I don't personally believe that. No, no, you're mashallah. I don't believe that God said that. Okay. But is it not written in the... No, but you said Muhammad said. 
can I can I speak? Right. Yeah, you can. Right. But right. but you see, you're making the claim. Muhammad said, okay. First and foremost, look. Whenever you see things in the Bible, okay. For example, it says according to Mark, according to Matthew, according to Luke. Okay. Does it ever say according to Jesus? There's no gospel according to Jesus. Ah, yeah. ah. why? How, well, I don't see that. How that's an ah moment. How have you, have, proved, have you proved me wrong? Well, first and foremost, Luke wasn't an eyewitness, right? I mean, Mark and we got Mark. No, Mark Peter. wasn't an eyewitness either. No, we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got, no, we've got Peter. We've got James. We've got. Well, I mean, Paul saw Jesus on the road. To no, no, I'm asking about well, Mark but, and. But, but, hang on, no, but now Mark and Luke. Okay, you keep. I think, feel like you keep dodging this question. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I've, I've tried to ask this for the last ten minutes. No, 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 you know why we are not dodging no, the question? There's a lot of yeah, yeah. presupposition that's yeah. false. No, no, but because you haven't done the research. I've got, I've got one question. You keep saying Muhammad yeah. said. Muhammad okay, said. Sure, sure, you read the Quran. You said God said. Allah said. Well, I mean, I haven't. I've read some of the Quran. I haven't read it. No, but as a Muslim, it's not your job to educate me. You can say you are Allah. I'll answer your question. Okay, Damien. Damien, imagine if I say. Imagine if I say. No, no, we'll respond. Imagine if I say, according to the Bible, Satan said this, Satan said that. Okay. Yeah, and and I, I and yeah. I post the attribute to sure. Satan. Okay. How would you feel? I, 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 would, I would not. Yeah. Thank I, you. So I, make I your claim again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What's your claim? No What's Go on. What's your claim again? But but as can I just ask though, as Muslims, is it not your you you're here to educate me on your faith? To, yeah, to, yeah, we to, can teach you. We can teach you, no problem. Also learn from so, you. Yeah. So, so I have a question. Okay. That what I'm is your question? I have been trying to ask for the last yeah, yeah, ten yeah. minutes, but it keeps it keeps moving. Okay, fair enough. What is your question? Okay. So my question is, and the Quran says, is my correct in saying that? Yeah, that's right. Okay. The Quran says, and the Quran makes claims about things that happened two thousand years ish before now and a classic example is and this isn't from a christian website this is just a classic example yeah. um, and i think this is different a different account from the bible when the people came, when most came down from mount sinai there was a car the cow and they were wondering what color the cow was yeah um okay and yeah. they were questioning it. the bible doesn't say that okay so he's he's then so the quran has then made a claim about something that happened two to three thousand years before okay no so problem is, we, we, so we, we'll answer yeah. that question no so problem. it would be the equivalent to be fair it'd be the equivalent to me saying julius caesar said this yeah. is, is that a, okay is that right? can i respond yeah. to your to your uh, yeah. to this question yeah. okay yeah. why first and foremost before i answer your question you're already assuming yeah. that the bible is a standard by which prophet muhammad peace be upon him preached the bible is not the standard his sorry, information sorry, no, that point. because That's you're saying you're saying is different to the bible no, I'm saying I'm you're saying, you're saying it's not mentioned in the Bible, but it's mentioned in the Quran. What I'm, what I'm saying about is, the color yeah, of the cow yeah. and okay, so on. So I'm responding. I'm, I'm actually that. responding to but, you. But my question was more that he made a claim about something that happened. Or he, sorry, not he. I apologize. I don't mean to. The Quran. Please, that's fine. Just say the Quran yeah, says. Okay. Uh, the Quran says. Yeah. The Quran makes a claim that happened 3,000 years before. Uh, okay. Before he was given. I don't. I would, I would say that was written. I don't know if that's offensive to you. I don't mean to be. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. You can say. Just revealed. It was revealed. It was revealed to you. It was revealed to Prophet Muhammad be upon him the story about the, the the cow and the color of the cow and so on which is in surah al-baqarah but that's just a, that's just a random example yeah but well, i'm, no, I'm, I'm you, you, you see no, i'm actually no, responding no, to no, you no, and no, you no, keep no, cutting no, me off every time yeah. <laughs> so first and foremost the bible is not our standard neither was it the standard of prophet peace be upon him okay when the revelation came to prophet muhammad peace be upon him it was direct from allah okay through the angel gabriel to him but, but From, we don't believe that you know that right let me answer, please. You Let me answer. Point. You asked me about the Quran. I'm answering. You you were waiting for ten minutes. Have some more patience. I mean, I'm like, responding okay, to you. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't have to believe. Like look, look. There, yeah. You don't have to believe anything from the Quran. You don't have to. But at least when you ask a question about the, the Quran to a Muslim, the Muslim will answer based on Islamic teaching, okay. not based on the biblical teaching. Sure. So bear that in mind, please. Go, go for it. When Moses reveal, when Moses uh, narrated the story of Adam. How many thousands of years of gap was that? Yeah, many thousands. At least six thousands, I would say. Or let's say even three thousand. Okay? If it was three or four thousand years, then why are you guys worried about six hundred years gap between Jesus and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? If God wants to reveal something to any of his messengers. But if you go from Muhammad to Moses. Let me finish, please. I, I'm coming to that. Doesn't matter even if it's ten thousand years. Even if it's ten thousand years, if the information comes directly from God. Okay, then you shouldn't have a problem because you believe the same thing. Moses came with information about Adam, about Noah, about so many prophets that, that preceded him, about Abraham, thousands of years ago. And you believe all of that without questioning. But then Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, comes 600 years after Jesus. And he said, how can Prophet Muhammad know something that came 600 years before? 
I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. You guys are willing to accept 6,000 years before about Moses, uh, uh, the, the gap between Moses and Adam, but you're not willing to accept a 600 year gap. If God wants to reveal something to you now, yes, 10,000 years uh, from uh, the time of Adam, if it was the case, then he can do that. There's no problem. Now, where in the Quran does it say that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has to rely on the Bible? It doesn't. I'm not saying that he has to rely. I'm talking about. That's it. Ignore it. Ignore it. It's background noise. Yeah. I'm, so, what are you. By the way, the, the question you asked about the, the color of the not, car and so on. That's not exactly what the point I was making. The okay. point I was making is it's not just. I'm not, sorry, I, I didn't mean to bring the Bible into it. But in a sense, like, the point I was making about the Bible is that you, you would say that the. Ignore him, brother. Ignore, just, ignore, just ignore him. Ignore him. You would say that the information was revealed, right, to, to Muhammad uh, from God, and that's how it's reliable, yeah? And I would say that. Abibi, it's okay. Leave it. Leave it. He's a liar. Yeah. I didn't touch him. Okay, car carry on. Leave it, leave it. Did I touch you? Did I touch you? Stop lying. Yeah. Did I touch you? Stop lying. Get out of here. Lame, lame. Such a liar. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I didn't touch I think you. So the I point I was seen making yeah. like this place is that it's not, just, it's not just a 600 year gap. Get out of here. Um, the Quran tries to rewrite a whole time period. Lying. And tries to, and not, no, yeah, it tries, essentially I'm, tries to I'm make a rewrite it. a whole time period. Do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't even it, touch it's you. not just Habibi, like, Habibi, please. 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 Yeah, touch you. yeah, I know, I know. I know you're telling the truth. Yeah. I, tr I trust you. Let's leave it there. Yeah. Inshallah. May Allah give it. Yeah. In the name of Okay? All right. No, it's all good. No, it's all good. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so my point was that the Quran doesn't, like, in a sense, I, I do personally believe that the Quran lies on the Bible because there's no information about Jesus. You did say that. What's that? I did answer I that did question. Say, I, I do personally yeah. believe that. Because he's saying there's a story in Quran about this yeah. coming yeah. down from uh, Mount Sinai. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And it's we not are, in the Bible. That's what I answered. Okay, I'll be very quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. He's, we, a, we, affirm, yeah. we affirm that Allah has sent multiple messengers throughout time with that message of pure monotheism, yeah? From Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace before all of them with that same message. But between that time the revelation got corrupted so when the quran was revealed the final revelation to prophet muhammad peace be upon him that is the only uh, religious scripture that is preserved and unchanged yes now the quran mentions in chapter 5 verse 48 that the quran is muhammadin over the previous scriptures which means that it has authority over the previous scriptures yeah now if there are some things in the bible that agrees with the quran we're going to probably accept that if there are some things that contradicts the bible uh, from the quran we reject that anything that is in between we don't speculate on anything yeah so just because a text is corrupted that does not mean that we cannot find any truth but we use the quran as our standard sure. so it's actually the other way around yeah, but for me i i feel like the, the quran is is making so i think the, the bible yes. is much much more historical and we can we have this discussion another time okay so can i ask you yeah. can i ask you a question in so, genesis chapter yeah. one yeah in genesis chapter one so the can creation I just, story can i just finish the, okay and then, and then you can go all right, so i apologize yeah, yeah, no, sorry, sorry. Um, i think that the bible and i can do some more research on this but from what i know it's, it's quite historically accurate we have eyewitness accounts the the, the 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 time period that you mentioned between adam and moses is an exception because most of the prophets were, the the books in the old testament and the new testament were written quite close to the time period that they were they were about yeah, okay. yeah but you don't have evidence for that this is a claim no no we do well i mean the new okay that's another discussion but did you that's understand my response yeah. to your original question well, I'll finish this and then I'll, and then I'll get to your response, yeah. And, so, and then what, what, in my view, is happening is the Quran is coming and, and it's trying to rechange all of that history. And then, and then you okay. guys are kind of saying, well, you see, he's using the, the Bible as a yeah, yeah. No, no, that's it why is, I asked you. That's why, that, no, no, yeah, that's why yeah, I asked yeah, you. No, 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 I respect your opinion, no yeah, doubt. Sorry. But go, you, go ahead, I go want ahead, you to yeah. relay back to what I responded to your original yeah. question. Can you, can you? Okay, so you didn't listen, did you? I did. Okay. Yeah, but I've got. Yeah, I really don't have. Okay, I see. Okay, no, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. We believe that Allah has sent multiple messengers throughout yeah. time with that message of pure monotheism to worship Allah alone, yeah. don't associate partners. So we believe that Jesus was given the Injil, was given the gospel, but we don't have the original gospel because it's lost in history. So what the Quran does is the final revelation to confirm the previous scriptures. So we use the Quran as our basis. Yeah, the Quran is mentioned Muhammad in Surah Maida chapter five, verse forty-eight. So the Quran is a Muhammadin, it has a quality control of the previous scriptures. 
So it filters out. Anything that agrees with the Bible, I've got no problem accepting it. Anything that contradicts the Bible, then we reject it. Anything that's in between, we don't expect that. So in my eyes, that's just taking and choosing what you're about. No, it's not. Okay. So, so in the Bible. No, no. So you he said we use the Quran as a criteria. Yes. The How is that picking and choosing? Because you pick what parts of the Bible you want to believe. Not we. It, it is what Allah told Hang us. On. Yeah. You, in the Old Testament. <laughs> but it's still, it's still, it's still you guys, you're part of it. Hang on. You mentioned, you mentioned the Quran came here to correct and amend uh, uh, um, the Bible. Okay. Even within the Old Testament, Wait, what, can you say what I you, mentioned? You, you yeah. made the claim that the Quran came here to correct and amend the Bible. I think that you made that claim. No, no, you made that claim. I, I you made just said so. Oh, sorry. I'm so I made so that you're claim. Not because, you know, I made made that claim because that, you may made that claim. You that, only made, that's how that's. So with all due respect, you have a memory of a goldfish. So, sort of, oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 I'm no, being no, respect. I'm, I'm not the best in remembering. Yeah, I apologize if that. Okay, is no worries. Yeah, I don't mean to come I have a bad memory. Offensive, but no, 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 no I listen to you attentively. But right. I do, I do have a bad memory. If that. Okay, then I apologize. I apologize. Take that back. That's okay. I have not a memory. Let's let's move on. I apologize. That's right. And I know you. I also I apologize if I've said anything. No worries. No worries. I don't. I'm not here to offend you, and I'm not here to. But I do. I want to have a healthy discussion and get to the truth. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And by the way, you you did understand the point he's making. So so when we use the Quran as our criteria then look it is the same thing with you you wouldn't you wouldn't believe anything that is mentioned in uh, the Mishnah for example in the, the Jewish water. writings the Jewish writings we, we really yeah? Yeah, yeah so you you will rely yeah. on you, you yeah, rely yeah, okay. you will rely yeah. on the Bible yeah. rather than the Jewish writings of the of the rabbis and so on yeah yeah you would you would you have the same criteria my friend you would use your Bible as as your yardstick similarly yeah. we use a Quran as our yardstick okay but you see when I asked you about John 17 3 earlier I I think you don't use the Bible as a yardstick because Jesus, Jesus was actually the best role model for you guys, right? Yes. So when when people asked him, okay, how should we pray? What do you think was Jesus' response? We we could we could go around and no, no, I, we've already, we've no, let, let us finish with this. If you want to go, no problem. Yeah. So when Jesus was asked specifically, how do we pray? Yeah. Okay. What was his response? Do you remember? We give them the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it is the Lord's Prayer. Lord's prayer. Yeah. How does the Lord's Prayer start? Our Father who is in heaven. How may be like and he calls, yeah. like what do you call God? So when he, says, when he says, Our Father, Father. in heaven, yes. yeah. does he say Our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in heaven? No, he said Our Father because he's coming to the Father. Bro, bro, bro. Do you mind? Do you mind? Please. I know you're excited. Okay. So, okay. So, so, he say, yeah. so when Jesus was on earth, yeah. Yeah. when Jesus was on earth, yeah. he, he was teaching the people. Yeah that you should worship only one person, the Father, Habibi, please. You're interrupting. No. Okay, please. So when Jesus, when Jesus was asking, sorry, when Jesus was teaching the disciples and the people who asked him this question, how shall we worship? How shall we pray? He explicitly told them who to worship, who to direct your worship to. And it has always been consistent throughout the New Testament in Jesus' teaching that it is always the Father. Remember, he says, um, this is eternal life that they may know you, the Father, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So I'm not relying on just one passage. I give you another passage about the prayer. In fact, I'll tell you what. You you look throughout the Bible, throughout the New Testament, and if you one second, now, one second, look throughout the New Testament, and if any place Jesus advocates the worship of anyone other than the Father. Then I would ask you to provide the evidence. I mean, I, we, we could, but we're going to go around another. I don't think discussion. you could. Can I just no, say, absolutely could. Okay. Okay. We're going to want to make a point. Not from Jesus. Not from Jesus. Do you want to make a, yeah, 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 a point yeah. first before I. No, no, no. I'm not here to make another point. Okay. What, what I was just about to say is I could answer that question, but we can't have no to go. Worries. And we've been here for another half an hour. No worries. Okay. So you go make your point. So thank you. So you made the original claim before that you claimed that the Quran came here to correct and amend the Bible. Can I ask you, can you make a point maybe that summarizes your beliefs rather than. Because then I'm going to have to defend my claim and then we're going to be here for ages. Yeah, sure, sure. Just summarize no. what you've said. Just you tell him about Tawhid. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. basically, the core mystery of Islam is that there's only one God worth worship. Yeah, Allah. He's only one, self sufficient, does not have parents, does not have children, there's nothing like him at all. We worship Allah alone, we don't worship the creation, we don't pray to Jesus, Muhammad, any of the creation. Allah created for one purpose to worship him alone, and Allah sent multiple messengers with that message of pure monotheism. Yeah? So, and, and by fulfilling our purpose in, in this life, we will retain eternal uh, happiness in paradise. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came with proofs and evidences as the final prophet. With the final revelation of the glorious Quran, the only world religious scripture which is preserved, unchanged, free from errors and contradictions, even his enemies testified to the miracles of the Quran. And that's it. Can I, can I make, do you want to hear the message of Christianity? Go on. What we believe. You can summarize so we, your belief. Yeah, no yeah, what we believe is yeah. that Jesus Christ came, he came to die for our sins. We have reliable evidence for this. Okay, we've got uh, thousands of manuscripts of copies of our manuscripts. 
manuscripts, eyewitness testimonies. We have a series of books that, that co-align uh, in one coherent story, which is, imp is it's impossible to do, uh, apart from a divine miracle. That's what we believe. Believe in him. We believe um, God's wrath is on everybody, but if you turn and you believe in the sun, that your oh. sins will be forgiven. Yeah. I don't want to see any silly thumbnails about how Christians got destroyed by you guys, because I think we had a healthy conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I really I actually did. I really enjoyed the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. Thank you very much yeah, for your time. Yeah, and do you want appreciate some of the things that Thank you said, nice I'll, I'll look you. into it. I'll come back next week. Or yeah, sure. Really? By the way, Thank this you. video will yeah. be on Dawah's yeah. channel. Oh, we sure, are not going sure. to edit it anything. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, to make us yeah, look yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because we already look good. Alhamdulillah. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. No, no. No, no. I mean, you're absolutely right. I mean, there shouldn't be silly thumbnails. And I would tell my Muslim friends, if they're doing that, that's not right. Because we don't want to show you in a bad light when you when you actually conducted yourself in a civil manner. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate we, it. We, yeah. yeah, I mean, we What's give credit where it's due. Damien. Damien, Damien yeah? yeah. Rahan, what nice to meet you. Mark. Mark. Rahan, nice to meet you, Mark. Nice Damien, Mark. Okay. Yeah. And I'll, yeah. I'll look nice into... By the way, look yeah. into Islam. Yeah, I Just like well, the way we read, the, no, read the Bible. Yeah. I want you guys no, I, to read I, the Quran. I do read the Quran. You may be very Next time. Have you got a copy? I actually do read the Quran. You got a copy of the Quran? I've got one. Oh, you got one? I do read it. You got one more? I've got one. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll tell you what. Next time, read the read the Quran and if and note down any questions you have. And then we can discuss this because you, you see, look, the between the three religions, between Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, Jesus is the one that actually is the main difference. Yeah, the Jews, the Jews completely reject him. The Christians go to the other extreme, make him a god. The Muslims are in the middle. We neither reject him nor give him the pedestal of God Almighty. You see, because you see, Allah is merciful. He doesn't need a human sacrifice to forgive your sins. He's able to forgive you and also punish you. So I'm not saying he always forgives. He, of, of course, in his wisdom and by his justice, he's able to forgive and punish and reward people. But you see, in Christianity, the only way you can be forgiven is by the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ. Like you said in your, like you said in your summary. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. you see, Allah is merciful, you know. So you know like, yeah, I, 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 I want you to do one thing: read the Quran. Yeah. But when you read the four Gospels, I want you to really compare both of them, yeah, and sounds... you will see that each Gospel are correcting <laughs> and making each other. Oh, I will, and I'll look into some things you'll you said. That's the point I'll, I'll chat with you yeah. next week if yeah. I see you, if I see you around. Yeah, well, yeah sure. Have a good evening. Yeah, we've really got to go. Nice to see you. No problem. Take care, guys. All right. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamualaikum. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.